Let's go and have a look at what's the best technique or techniques for killing Asian hornets when they're up in a tree. This guy can kill them up to 40 meters away using a paintball gun. Let's go and see. This is a queen wasp, not an Asian hornet. She's a big old girl, but what she's doing right now is she's chewing. I'm just about to pick it off. Kind of pumping away. I can see her jaws going. So we've got some interest with the BBC. It's actually interesting that someone from the media is actually interested in a different perspective of the Asian Hornet, uh, which we're trying to bring to you, because you have to have every side of a story before you can make your mind up. Really happy that the BBC have come here today. The truth of the matter is I've sent out 15, 20 emails to newspapers, people like that. Our good old friends of the Daily Mail, who've written so much crap about Asian Hornets, unbelievable. Not even replied to an email. Weird, eh? Perhaps we should have called them Murder Hornets. It's good to see the BBC here. So what are you doing, Robert? We're just filming this bit. So what's this bit of kit called? This is the Angle Launch Telescopic. Robert's been filmed by the BBC at the moment, but we're just nipping in out of shot. It's a clever bit of kit, isn't it? It's a clever bit of kit. And you can see it right the way up, all the way up there. Might be, you might be right? able to see that from above now, if you go out there. <laughs> Get out of here, that's never right with them angles, is it? So that represents the Asian hornet's nest, and that's kind of typically how high they can get. So you need some pretty specialist kit. Beekeepers don't have that kind of kit, do they? Mm? Remember, we're beekeepers as well as pest controllers. You need to be a pest controller to sort out Asian hornets. It's as simple as that. I'm sorry if you get upset by that. I don't give a shit. I'm a beekeeper, I'm a pest controller. It means I can deal with Asian hornets. If you're a beekeeper, go and pass your exams, then you'll know how to treat Asian hornets and other wasps and other pests. See if we can hit the target. Oh, he's got it. Ow! <laughs> that was under pressure for Robert there, I think. On the TV, dog barking in the background. You're full of gas. <laughs> Quite a good demonstration, really. That's a quick and easy way to do it. So each one of those paintballs is uh, half paint, so you can see where you've hit, and the other half is in the insecticide that's used for the job. Important, you use the right label, the right insecticide for the job. You can only use them in France as well, by the way. Yeah, you can't use those in England, I believe, at the moment. I've got me skilled, I can walk backwards and everything myself. Can you? Yeah, yeah, fix well. cars, walks backwards. Yeah. Right, so, we're going to come over and see you in France. Perfect. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to try and get this out in one go. We're going to film doing the Pine Processionary Caterpillar. Is that right? Have I got that right? It's the wrong time of the year. You missed it. Okay, do I have to come in the winter again? You have to come in... End of February, March. End of February, March. Okay, we'll put that in the diary for next year. But what I think we might do as well on one of our travels around Europe is we're going to come and see you in action using this and that right. on Asian hornets. Just Does that sound good mind, to you? Yeah, just bear in mind that when I'm treating an Asian hornet nest, I don't cut trees down. I don't uh, cut sways into the countryside. Yeah. It's just me walking in the field with this. Sounds good to or me. Or that, or both. Sounds good to me. Now we're off to Oxford to go and look at some bees that some unscrupulous pest controlling company has gone out and tried to kill twice. It's not worked. You'll love this video at the end of this. <laughs> 